Hello once again individuals and welcome to another episode of the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Flobbert and today I'm showing you the latest and greatest in VTOL design. I keep saying that but this is really like one of the best VTOLs that I've ever built if not the best and it is only like 20 something parts. It's really light, it's really wonderful. This is the No Wing Mark 4, you may remember the No Wing Mark 3. This is just the descendant of the No Wing Mark 3. It's really cool, it's really neat. I keep saying that, but it is. Let me just show you how awesome this thing is. All right, we have a go for launch, I suppose. Today we're flying with Calnard. Three, two, one, and we're off, and we can put the gear up. How lovely is that? Yes, this thing has a TWR that rapidly increases as the fuel is drained, and it actually can go for something like two minutes or three minutes, depending on how well you do at throttling this thing and such. So in other words, it has more of a burn time than some of my other comparable VTOLs while simultaneously being less massive and less parts. I think that that's pretty awesome. I think that that's pretty neat. So, um, before we get any further, I want to give a shout out to some of my favorite YouTubers who also do Kerbal Space Program and who do not have the respect that they really deserve. One of them is this guy named Wookie. You might have heard of him. One of his most famous series is Rover Adventures Around Kerbin, in which he takes rovers around the entire planet Kerbin. I would not have the patience to do that. He is awesome. You better check him out. Another guy who just recently subscribed to me is Andrew Hansen, who kind of does what I do, except not as crazy, and he also seems to build some more large-scale, more grandiose ships that are really cool. So, go and subscribe to them. They're really awesome people, and I highly recommend it. Um, and Andrew or Wookie, if you are watching this video, I hope you enjoy. Um, and you're welcome for giving you a plug, I suppose. Right, so let's go ahead and try to land on the helipad, and then we can try to get back down again. I want to have this be a two-part video as opposed to most of my other videos where I just land once, and that's the end of it. That's boring. I don't want to make my videos boring. I want to make them exciting and full of fun. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, yes. I'm a little high strung today. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go ahead and get our gear down. We can flare up a little bit. Uh, slow down, slow down. Lovely. We are doing a very good job. Hang in there, Calnard. Um, I don't know why I'm talking in this voice. But it is a good voice to talk in, so I guess that is what I will do. Anyway, um, wow, I'm actually doing a pretty good job at landing this thing. I'm never really very good at all at landing VTOLs, but there we are! Yes, we have landed on the helipad, and now it is time to go and try to land somewhere else. And, I mean, the good thing is... If I do not successfully land somewhere else, there is a parachute on the top of this, and I can successfully show off my abort system, which is a really great thing to do as well. So, you know, it's, it's a win-win whether or not I can land successfully. That's why I'm doing it. Right, you can see that now we take off a lot faster, we're moving a lot faster. This VTOL behaves really remarkably well. Um for its size. I think I've already said that, but I was just amazed when I first built it at how well it performed. Um, so yes, we've been in the air for about a minute and a half now, not counting the time that we spent kind of doddering around on the launch pad. Oh no! It looks like we're gonna hit the ground! No! Okay, we're still good. Um, let me go ahead and try to land on the launch pad. And we can go ahead and pop that parachute to show you how that looks, too. Hey, that's an idea. All right, let's cut the throttle. Actually, let's throttle in the reverse direction because we're way overshooting. Oh, my goodness, Flaubert. Wow. And we're out of fuel. Nuts. Well, that is fine. We can just wait until we're headed back downwards and deploy that parachute. And yes, this thing does cruise down at a rather high, but nonetheless acceptable speed of about 7 meters per second, which is nice. So yeah, that's a good abort feature, I suppose. 
That is it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that I'm a little bit more sane in the next episode. Have a very nice day, individuals. Like, favorite, subscribe, and share, please. I'll see you next time with another episode of the Kerbal Space Program. Peace.